guys, Coach Ben here, QuickBenches.com, and today we're going to discuss five positional issues in your bench press and how we can quickly fix them. Starting with tight traps, if you have tight traps, you're going to find that your shoulders are going to stay elevated while you're trying to set up. You can see here, having a hard time, even maybe some discomfort um, in getting those shoulders down, they stay elevated. That is definitely going to affect the press. Some things you can do, an assisted trap stretch. I love this one. You hook a band around your shoulder. I'm simply stepping on it. That's going to provide that additional pull while I stretch my neck in the other direction. It is really going to help hit on the traps and allow you to get to a more effective setup position. Next, you could go into a little myofascial release. This is when I'm actually going to take a lacrosse ball. Uh, you see I put my hand behind my back there as a way to pre-stretch that trap a bit more. And then you want to look off to the side once you tack some tissue down. You can turn your head. Uh, really start to ply into that tissue and then create a stretch as well. Very effective drill right here. And then the after result, being able to get your scaps underneath you more so. You can see that length I'm creating through my neck now. As a result of what I just worked on, much smoother pressing, better loading in the lats. If you're having a hard time maintaining your back tightness, it is going to show up as a quick early elbow flare. Some things you could do. Scap pull downs, one of my favorite. Simply grab onto a band. Instead of your traditional pull down motion, you are going to keep your arms locked out and we're just going to do scap pull downs. So we're trying to draw our scaps down towards our hips. Scap retractions. We will wrap ourselves within a band here attached to the power rack. This is going to give me the same type of a loading I would experience with the barbell. I am simply going to draw my shoulder blade back as far as possible, protract it out to get that shoulder blade motion. Scap push-ups, another way in which we are trying to move the scaps independently and strengthen that back position. And then you can see how it'll pay off. We're not going to overpress the bar. We're going to stay in good positions during the press. <clears throat> Getting a bigger arch. Everyone wants a bigger arch. How to do that, you want to focus on your T-spine, your upper back. We want more mobility there. Peanut ball, one of my favorite tools to use. You can see I start behind the neck here. Starting behind the neck because when you're in that good arch position, there's a big stretch on your neck. You don't want to have any trouble there. Uh, so you want to make sure you're starting from the base of the skull, working down, getting into the upper back here, extending over. And this is really where we want to target in terms of trying to create a bigger arch. It's not through the lower back, it's through that upper back. So you're just opening up the chest here. If you're having a hard time getting your feet out into position, you see here I'm a bit closed off, then some things you could do, simply stretching the adductors. This is a simple adductor stretch here. This is something that's going to allow you to open up into a wider stance. Here is one of my favorite exercises drills is the banded frog stretch, simply looping a band around your knees and then you're getting into this frog position here. You can see my toes pointed out. This will provide you with a really great groin stretch. And then just in a combination of a few of these different drills, you can see much wider foot position as compared to before as well as just going through sets is going to allow you to adopt that better position. If you feel like you can't get good leg drive, usually a product of your hip flexors being very tight and you passively being stuck in that position, get into some hip flexor stretching. You see here, making sure I target the hip flexors, not arching at the lower back. You can also put a band around your hip as well to do a band assisted hip flexor stretch. But these drills will help you feel more strength in that position with your feet therefore you'll be able to apply a powerful leg drive thanks for watching the video if you want to learn more about how to increase your bench press consider joining us in our better benching academy to learn more simply click the link down below in the description box or visit bigbenches.com bb academy i'll see you there